ceremony is, is a very serious one in the VR, in the VR in particular, where there's been a lot of training, a lot of money spent to try and improve the accident rate on VR now, not VR generally, but VR, VR now as far as we concerned. We have this last fiscal year had the best improved situation on accidents. That doesn't mean to say we didn't have any, that we had a considerable number. But we had the best improvement rate. And that's what this cup's all about. It's about because we all run different parts of the RML. We have carriage work, we have loads on work. And we have this quite involved local carriage and uh, DMU operation. And so the idea is to try and measure our improvement rate. And uh, as I say again, uh, this depot was one I'm very pleased about that, especially this time we've worked with the career. Frank Frith, who is our production director, is the production director of the RML at level five, has actually insisted on coming to present this, but being an ex depot manager as well. He's well aware of the size of the problem here, and uh, he's going to, I'm sure, use a particular time to make a particular effort to save to the company. So, I ask you, Frank, to come and say a word. After he, Frank, had his, se had his session, I'm going to ask him to present the company, Dave Pulton, who is, let's face it, he has the major responsibility for people on this particular side. That's the other reason. The other reason is He's going to stand on the bottom while we stand on the top. <laughs> Friends and colleagues, well, it's just a bit of a start from my little talk. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about it. I think it sort of tries to get in, into perspective just where it all stands on the rating of things. Um, I've had the benefit, along with Keith Davis, to go out to see Jim Pont in, uh, in America in these last few weeks to get some idea of what they were really mean about saying. The improvements at Doncaster meant that last year, 34, 35 of you and your colleagues sustained an injury that resulted in them having some time at work. That's 35 too many, and that's easy to say because I think we all recognise that. The sort of things that I look out with that is that anybody working on this side of Doncaster last year stood a 4.6% chance of sustaining an injury that resulted in them having some time off. The year previous, it was about 6.8, so you can see the level of improvement that's actually happened. If we're going to really get down to something of a meaningful nature, we're really going to be talking about a 1% chance of sustaining an injury. That means a hell of an improvement. We've got a real step change to go through between now and getting to that sort of level. So there's a very, very big challenge in front of us all to be able to achieve that. Clearly, a lot of those accidents are in these four walls. So David Pope has a very big responsibility to share in that, along with all of you, his colleagues, friends, and workmates. So, you know, that there is going to be some sincere effort in trying to get those kind of numbers down. Why do we really need to do this, they all say. One of the greatest difficulties I think that we have in convincing people. But in my view, there are about three major things that need to be thought about. First and foremost, I believe as an organisation that we have an obligation, a moral obligation, to make this place as safe as we possibly can for everybody that works here. The second thing, if you expand it and look at some of the other issues associated with it, we have a very big responsibility uh, to society in general who demand that we get better and better in our safety culture, and particularly environmental issues that rotate around the same kind of problem. And I have to say the third thing is it's good business sense for us anyway, because we need you, we want you here at work helping us to do the kind of things that are necessary They're very important issues as far as I'm concerned. Our target, whether we ever get there or not, I don't know, but our target is really going to be about having zero accidents that cause lost time injuries. Now, 
we have seen where that's nearly been achieved in Jamont. And I talk about our rate here being just over four and a half percent. In Jamont, the factory that we went to that employs three and a half thousand people, that we're getting down to a half percent chance. And they demonstrated to us very clearly that it can be done. That's what we were describing. So I have a challenge to everybody here. The challenge is zero accidents. We've got to be realistic, but what we're going to be looking for is some real, genuine improvements in the figures that we're looking for. The Railways Board is looking for a 50% improvement in lost time accidents in the next three years. I'd like to see us be not only in time, but in number. So that's what we should be working on in the, in the months to come. I think this would be remiss of me to let this opportunity go by as well and just refer to Ronnie Price. Ron, as you all know, is leading the company. Uh, that for a record in front of you, people particularly, my personal thanks to Ronnie Price, not only for helping me when I was here at Doncaster, but also continuing to help me in the company over the last few years. And I would like to share with you, wishing Ron all the very, very best for a, a long and happy retirement, both you and your wife, Pat. Thank you, Roger. I present this today because this is where the majority of the action has been in sustaining these injuries. Secondly, it's Dave who's going to drive the injury factor down. It's Dave you can't. Thank you. 